what you're trying to do is actually build that rapport that you would normally do face to face, right. but you're doing that within an article. Welcome back all my followers. Thank you very much for joining me and thank you for Tim Hughes for joining us again. It's great to be here on a beautiful day in Sydney. <laughs> great, Tim. Hey, we've had a number of discussions and one, we talked about personal branding. Yeah. And I want to take that one step further. We, we talked about the fact that salespeople need to, to have a great brand so that when a customer mm. goes and looks at maybe their LinkedIn profile, it jumps out at the customer that this is a person I need to talk to talk with this, this person's going to bring value he's he's an, a domain expert in the area that I've got he's obviously got unique insight I need to talk to that person but but this is no different than what we've been doing for years John you know when you know before the internet salespeople would join the professional um, organization of what they're selling to you know yep, so that, that you know so if you were selling to education you would become a uh, become a, um, a pet on the parents association or something like that and if you're selling and to banks you'd be a banking expert in one as aspect yeah, or yeah. another and, and that's not something that you would necessarily do on the internet there would be some trade association that you would join and part of that was networking so you that you would swap business cards and sell which is actually what you do on LinkedIn um, but also it's because you want to because what we want to do is immerse ourselves in what the business issues and the problems are so when we're sitting in front of a customer we're able to give them insight and say I was at this event last week someone said this what how does that impact you now we did this before the internet we did yes the, the internet now gives us a great medium and Absolutely, we can yeah. have those yeah. sort of conversations okay the, the real question I wanted to ask you and I've got a view on mm. this but it would be interested in yours should salespeople write absolutely write articles absolutely and, yeah Tell yeah, me. yeah. Salespeople, you know, we are probably, apart from lawyers, some of the best communicators in the world. Uh, we are, um, our skills are standing up in front of customers, taking a complex solution and making it very, very simple so they can understand and uh, presenting the business issues, business cases and stuff like that. And we're very clear. In a way, a lot of salespeople I know kind of feel that they're frustrated actors. They like standing up in front and, 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 and acting uh, the, the particular part. We're also very good at writing and uh, ourselves. You know, we have to write management summaries. We mm -hmm. have to write um, re um, uh, requests for proposals or ITTs and things like that. We're also pro very good at writing emails internally, trying to get the resource we need to work on our sales. All the internal sales. Yeah, all the internal stuff that we have to do, you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and writing up um, uh, call reports and stuff like that. So we write as, our, as a natural um, uh, part of our roles and we communicate now there's no if we go out and have a meeting with somebody and th and you know we, we go and see a media company and the finance director says well you know these are the three things that keep me awake at night now we don't necessarily we, we don't need to quote the name of the person or the company but there's no reason why we don't write within our um, ourselves and say we think these are the three things that are impacting the, the media industry right now so, so, and that turns us into a thought leader yes yeah, so what you're saying is when when we write we don't write about ourselves our company our product at all no and I, I'm, I'm very strong on this. Salespeople and, uh, and anybody that's within an organisation writing content for customers, it's got nothing to do with product, company or whatever. It's got everything to do with something of value for the customer, something the customer cares about. Yes. Now, th there's, there's two things here. One is that you remember that when the mistake that most people write is that they, they want to, you know, I've got 2,000 things I need to say in this blog, so I'm going to basically put them all in there. Now, when, we, when you read an article, you'll only ever remember one thing. So only ever put, make one point in there. Yeah. It, uh, an article only needs to be 300, 500 words because we never write, uh, read anything. You know, it's one of those, you, you, you download a white paper, you put it in that file where you say, I'll read it after I've died. And you never actually read them, but with a, you know, it's a, a three, 500 word uh, article is a three, five minute read. You know, we can read that on the train or, you know, on a plane or something like that. That's what something will read. And, and what people want to do is that they want to see that you're passionate, that you have an opinion, that you, um, uh, that you understand their business issues. And this is a way that you're able to uh, provide that medium without actually having to sit in front of them. 
when when um, uh, you know go back twenty years when we were selling, yeah. you had to do that in front of somebody, and yeah. you went, you know, you you plan the call to say, right, I'm I'm gonna now don't try and be clever because nobody likes a smart ass. Um, you, what you're trying to do is actually build that rapport that you would normally do face to face, right? But you're doing that within an article. Okay, so I'm in I'm in agreement with you on that. Uh, but the question a lot of salespeople are going to raise, and you know, I've got time to write an article. You know, I mean, and, and, and you know, I've got to say, your namesake Tony Hughes has actually said in an interview, "If you can't write, you can't sell," okay. and you're basically saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah, and yet, yeah. a lot of salespeople would be standing there saying, "Yeah, you know, yeah one, one is I haven't got time to do it, and two is my company doesn't empower me to do it anyway." The company said, "No, we don't want you to write." That's okay. another issue well, too. Well, then, uh, unfortunately, that. So, so content is the way that uh, uh, that we are communicating. Content right. and context is the way that we're communicating. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we do as an organisation is help to empower people to actually write. Now, uh, John, you could write the best article in the world, but nobody knows it's the best article in the world until they've read it. That's now, right. um, now, the people that are reading your articles um, will generally be your your friends and your uh, your contacts and your network. And hopefully they'll read that and then they'll share that. And then other people will come across that and go, that John guy, he's a good writer. I'm actually gonna start following him. So what you're able to do as a salesperson is, and the way that you manage your territory, if you're writing about things that affect your customers, your customers and your prospects hopefully will then share that and you'll actually pull in more people who are your customers and prospects because they'll go, this guy, you know, Tim Hughes, he knows about social selling. I'm going to follow him because I'm going to get the best articles okay. and I'm going to get the thing that's most upfront. Now, if, as we're looking over our territory, if we cover the media industry, we want to get and pull as many people into that uh, and to be listening to what I'm saying. People in our territory. In our territory yeah. because yeah. We, we want to have, you know, if I'm pulling people in and I'm, um, if the more people I pull in, the less people I'm having to actually profile and go out. Okay, so... This reminds me of uh, somebody I did some coaching with, and, and, and there was a young lady that was a salesperson in, in selling um, cyber security to banks. And she started writing, started collaborating with other writers around the world that wrote about cyber security and banks. And she was talking about how the banks, you know, it's the sort of issues the banks are facing and how other banks around the world are addressing it and so on and so forth. Uh, and within three years, she be, 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 was seen, or started to be seen as a domain expert, well ahead of any other salesperson that I know in cybersecurity hmm. in, in this territory here. And that's what you're talking about. And, and, and in my mind, if I was to summarize the discussion we've just had, hey, a salesperson has to be able to write. A salesperson has to write good stories that are, written, yes. that are of value to customers, and that's not writing about your product. It's right, and, and your product doesn't have to be mentioned. In fact, it's probably better that products aren't mentioned in, in the we, articles. You know, we, we've since we've been started. Uh, you know, we've published something like three hundred blogs. So we publish uh, two unique pieces of content every day, and that will get us three pieces of inbound every single day. A call, the, the, there's a call to action at the bottom of the article saying, yes. "If you want to know more, or if you yeah, want to but every, we don't say, hey, hey, how, we're great.'" We demonstrate that by showing that the, the, by what somebody we're writing. Says, I need to I need and, to get and, in touch with this person. Yeah, and 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 people will do you know a number of things. They'll say this is rubbish, and I'm never going to talk to them because I'm going to go back to cold calling. People will say, yeah, that's interesting. If I ever do a, a social selling program, I'll give them a call, or they'll go, that's a solution to my problem, and I'll give them a, a, a call. I see, uh, and I write now is my mechanism to prospect. Okay. And, and that's what you're saying. Every salesperson should Absolutely, do in a yeah. B2, particularly in a B2B, in a B2B complex B2B sale where we're using content as the way to educate and insight okay. the the buyer as they go through the buying process. They need to find your content. Okay. Question out to all of the people out there. Do you believe this? Do you really want to uh, think about it and maybe have a discussion with Tim? I think it's a very, very valid statement. I'm not sure I really understand or agree with everything Tim says, but that one I totally agree with Tim. Salespeople. Successful salespeople need to become writers. You need to be able to put stories together that customers see value in, and as a result, see value in wanting to spend time with you to discuss the sort of issues and challenges they've got and help them go through a thinking journey. Tim, great discussion. Really loved all this time together. Thanks, John.